What's up? In this video, I'm going to be talking about a wide variety of things, but my center focus is going to be on gratefulness. So welcome to episode number 17. This is my 365 day challenge and it is a video podcast. So I feel like I'm going through some crazy changes right now in my life. I, I got a lot to share right now. So it's five o'clock in the morning. My dog came in and woke me up at 3.30 this morning for no re reason, no real reason. He just walked in my room, woke me up. And then my little boy, my one-year-old, he was fidgeting around. So I got up at like four, I fed him a bottle, changed his diaper, and then put him back in bed with my wife. And at 4.30, I got up. But one of the things that I want to talk about is the fact um, of realizing gratefulness in your life. So some of the stuff that uh, some of the stuff that I'm going through right now is really crazy. And one of the things that Tony Robbins taught me was no matter how you're feeling, whether it's you know you're sad or you're depressed or if you're mad or frustrated, taking yourself back to a grateful place is a great way to recenter your body and recenter your mind. And before I left for this huge event that I went on, however long ago that was, I was not in a good place. And I've been back now for two weeks or so, or even maybe a little longer, seven, I mean, over 17 days as far as, cause episodes, cause I started this after I got back. But one of the things that I'm starting to notice back at my job is that I get mad and I'm starting to slide back into my old habits. And the cool thing is, is that I am doing personal development every day and there's a couple things going on. So yesterday I got mad and I can totally see it in my head, but I'm trying to figure out ways to break that pattern because basically the more that you stay in a state of madness or anger, that's basically going to be what your life is going to be revolve around. So like if, so let's just say that I get mad every single day at my job. Well, I mean, I'm basically going to be, my life is basically going to be full of anger and I really don't want that. And I was really good two weeks ago when I got back the first day was amazing the second day was you know it, it, but it starts to slide off so being grateful and figuring out like things you are grateful for and catching yourself in that state and then just taking a step back and dropping into this grateful state and forgetting about all that crap is something that I'm working on now there's a whole lot more to this but it's something that we should do every day, honestly. Um, we should take time with ourselves every day because every day there's so much going on. I mean, my life has completely just turned up since I've been back. I mean, straight up turned up. I mean, there's so much more going on and I'm, I am grateful for that because I don't want to be lazy. I want to be a super high achiever and I want to grow and I feel like I've been in this job for so long and it just was just killed me. And I, when I say killed me, like I worked there a lot and not growing is really what makes you feel like you're dead or makes you feel like you want more. So I'm in a great place right now. I love it. I love the fact that I can wake up in the morning and do a video or I can do a video during the day or whatever. This is so cool to me. I still love that part and I'm not going to quit. But one of the things that I'm going to start working on is taking time every day. And I mean, like when I say time, like 15 minutes to an hour every day to myself and focus on what I am grateful for every day. And really that right there alone started out in the morning. I mean, there's a couple more things I'm going to do with this. I'll reveal later, but that right there alone started out in the morning. If you started out your day, you know, talking to yourself and just visioning what you're grateful for, 
Like I'm grateful for my wife, my family, my house, you know, the life that I've built for myself right now. I'm grateful for the fact that I can continue to grow and grow myself and grow my life. So every day in the morning when I wake up, I'm going to start doing that. And then also the working out stuff. You know, I know I need to work out, but I do work outside, so I'm all the, all day walking. I wear long sleeves. I wear I cover up my skin, so I'm sweating all day. Um, but I'm trying to work out more. I'm I'm working on working out more. This morning I woke up. You know, after I put the baby down, I said I might as well just get up. Maybe this is a sign. So I got up and I put put Tony Robbins back in my ears, and I got on the treadmill for 10 minutes, or the elliptical machine. Um, so I did that, you know, just stuff that I'm doing that makes me feel like I'm making progress. And another thing that Tony Robbins says is move. And he says, move. Like if you want to create emotion, emotion is creating by emotion is created by motion. And I, I know you might not understand that, but you got to move, right? If you think that if you just be lazy all the time and you're just not moving, like you got to move. But look, move, moving includes everything, all kinds of muscles. It includes your body, your legs. It even includes your face. Like move, like move, move your stuff. Try to move because move creates emotion. So yesterday after I got frustrated at work, you know, a lot of things that happen, we just get frustrated and we keep our nose in the frustration. But when you become more aware of stuff and like you continuously are growing, you start to ask yourself bigger questions. Like why is this, what, number one, why does this keep happening is a question. But let me, let me invite you to explore a bigger question, right? Because I keep getting frustrated at work and I realized this this morning and even last night. What question can I ask myself to grow from this? Because here's the question. Why does this keep happening is not a big enough question. So here's the question. What lesson is God trying to teach me in this, in this whole thing? That's the question, right? Because of all the stuff that I've been through and all the stuff that I'm growing through, what is what lesson is God trying to teach me through this whole thing? I don't know that question yet, the answer to it. But at least the question is there. And it's really funny because I'm asking myself questions all the time. And you got to pay attention when you ask yourself questions like that because it comes it'll come it'll come right by and if you're not paying attention you're gonna miss it and how do I get better how do I get better at all this stuff be more aware keep exercising it keep doing it right so focus on your grateful every day focus on grateful I don't care if you take two minutes start out with two minutes grow it to five minutes even 15 minutes what are you grateful for? And when you feel yourself getting into a spot where it's an emotion or it's a feeling or your body's in a spot where you just don't, you're just not happy, take yourself back to the gratefulness and be grateful and just close your eyes or whatever you got to do or even do it in your, in your mind with your eyes open and just imagine all the things that you're grateful for, but start to feel feel why you're grateful because that feeling that feeling is something that we can manifest no matter where we are if we just take our mind back there and live it while we're being while we're doing what we're doing so that's it for today's episode i know it's a little all over the place but i'm all learning this stuff too and i'm working every day to get better and I just appreciate you watching this and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you on the next episode.